Hi everyone. Today we will be learning how to use Croc API to load Llama 3 model and how to use it as a API client using Croc. So for that, first of all, uh, we'll have to install Grok uh, in our Google Colab. You just have to do pip install Grok. And for getting the API key uh, for Grok, you have to go to Google and search for Grok API key. There you can find this particular uh, page for grok.com. Right now, uh, we have access to Llama 3.1 model as well, but uh, we do have access to 8 billion parameters one, uh, but we don't have access to 405 billion parameters model. Uh, it is paid from Grok's end. So here, like in dashboard, you can see uh, I have already generated few of the keys. Uh, for now, I'll be just deleting one of them and I'll be creating a new one. So I'll just name it as Llama 3.1 and just copy the key, go to your Google Colab. On the sidebar, you have the option for storing the secrets. So I have already stored one of the secret for uh, Grok API key. Since I have uh, revoked the key, I'll just update it. You can add a new secret and name it as Grok API key. and just switch it on in order to use it. Now let's continue. The next step would be importing OS and uh, also we'll have to import the secret key and you have the code for it uh, available in the sidebar itself. Just copy it and paste it. Replace the secret name with Grok API key and you have to set it as your environment variable. And for that, I'll be using OS. That will be Grok API key again. That's it. Now, the sec uh, second step would be to create the Grok client. For that, we just have to import Grok. So it will be from Grok import grok and the client will be grok now since we have our client ready uh, we'll just create a simple method for generating the content i'll just name it name it as generate content and which will be accepting the prompt that i want to give it as input next would be my response which will be nothing but client dot chat dot completions dot create. As you can see, this is uh, in a same way that we use OpenAI. We have a chat dot completions method. Similarly, for Grok also, we do have the same method available. Next, we'll be having the messages, and for that, we'll have two particular parts. That will be role. That will be user and the content. In content, we, we can give our custom prompt that we want to provide. Next thing is to define the model. And for this, I'll be using Llama 3.1. And uh, next would be 8 billion parameters. And the name is instant. You can find the documentation for Grok in uh, the Grok Cloud website. You see the documentation option on the sidebar. And again, you have uh, the models option in here where you can find different types of models available in the Grok library. So uh, whatever model you want to use it, you can uh, just pick it up from here. You have the model cards as well provided to you for uh, grabbing the API details regarding whatever model uh, that is available in here. So right now, uh, Llama 3.1 405 billion parameters is not free to use in Grok, but we do have 8 billion parameters. So 
currently i'll be loading that <coughs> let's run the cell now i'll just give the output and provide some kind of prompt to it so let's say my prompt would be what will be the future of ai jobs in next 5 years and i'll just run it um i missed one thing we just have to return the response as well and you see it is running fine if you want to print the output you just have to go to output and now you have the output and you can get the content from within the choices and messages and the content so you have the whole text generated in here you can also give the context length that is also available within the api so stay tuned for uh, more videos on grok api and uh, we'll be uh, trying to perform some kind of rag operations and uh, a few other things using grok as well thank you for watching this video have a nice day.